Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. We got another big week full of fun stuff for you guys. How do you think we're gonna start this video? The same way Mr. Charlie starts all of them. We gotta sing first. Let's do the good morning song. Get those hands up. Good morning, good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. We say hello and how do you do? To all our friends and teachers too. Good morning, good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. All right, my friends. So this week is about someone pretty special. Anybody know? This week is all about mommies. We're gonna be talking about Mother's Day this week. So to start it out, I'm gonna read you guys a book. I am going to read you guys, My Mom is Great. And I'll scoot up a little bit closer so that we can see it. My Mom is Great. My Mom is Great. She's so good at everything. I think my mom is magic. Every morning, her magic begins when she disappears into the bathroom. She changes from morning mommy into daytime mommy. After that, mom is ready to tackle anything, even the horrible monsters that live under my bed. Do you think there's monsters under his bed? No. Isn't my mom brave? What does it look like the monster is? What does that look like to you? Kind of looks like a sock to me. My mom is not afraid of anything. I'm never worried when she's around. My mom never lets me down. She even manages to find little Ted after I've looked everywhere and given up hope of ever seeing him again. Then for her next trick, my mom fixes Mr. Wobbly. You would never know he'd been broken. In fact, my mom knows how to fix just about anything, except washing machines. My mom always knows when I've done something wrong, but she never stays angry with me for long. Mom and I always have fun. Sometimes she takes me for bike rides in the country. Wee! Do you go on bike rides with your mommy? I used to. I used to go on big bike rides with my mom. My mom is amazingly smart. She always knows the answers to my questions. Mommies are pretty smart, you guys. And she's a fantastic cook. She makes me the yummiest meals. Ta-da! That looks like a pretty yummy meal to me. My mom makes me smile when I'm sad. And she can always make me feel better with a magical hug. Toward the end of the day, mom's magic starts to fade. By the time I'm ready for bed, she has changed back into morning mommy. But I don't care what mom looks like. I don't even care if she's not really magic because whatever she does, she's my mom and my mom is great. There they are on another bike ride. The end. Mommies are pretty great and that's why we are gonna be talking about them all week. But what I have to say next is a little surprise for mommies. So mommies, if you're in the room right now, I need you to leave. And friends, if your mommy's in the room right now, you turn to her and you say, mommy, I need you to leave. Are they all gone? Are we sure? Okay. We're gonna start talking about things. Here's the first one. This is a paper that you guys have in the bags that we have sent home with you. This says, to the world's greatest mom. And at the bottom it says love, and then there's a line. I would like you guys to draw your mommies. Draw them however you would like. Draw them doing something that you know they like to do. Draw them wearing something you know they like to wear. It can be however you want to do it. 
And then at the bottom right here, you're gonna write your name. So that's our first thing. And our second thing is a gift that we're gonna give to our mommies on our Mother's Day tea. In this bag here, we've got lots of little beads, we've got buttons, and then there's, well, let's, let's open it up, let's take a look. There's a string like this. It's a very, very long string. And we have a pipe cleaner like this. So you guys can make a necklace for your mommy or you can make a bracelet for your mommy. Might even be able to make both depending on how many beads are in here. I'm not quite sure. But those are gonna be some special gifts that you guys are going to do for mommy. And if you need help, you can always ask daddy. He will help you too. We have to keep that a secret. Can you guys keep that a secret until Friday when we give it to mommy? I'm counting on you guys. All right. It's calendar time. We gotta do the calendar. And guess what, my friends? It is no longer A-P-R-I-L, April. It is now a new month. What comes after April? May, that's right. Let's spell it out. M. A Y. Very short word. But we are now in May. You are right. And the first day of May was last Friday. That was the first day. So we're going to count to whatever day today is. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Today is the fourth day of May. We're going to put that right under Monday. And now we're gonna sing a song. What song should we do for calendar? How about Monday, Tuesday? Because today's Monday, that sounds like a good one. Is everybody ready to help me? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, two. Thursday, Friday, go to school. Saturday, Sunday, we stay home. Monday, back to school we go. All right, my friends. Now, of course, you guys have been home for a lot of Mondays now, but we hope that that goes back to normal pretty soon. Let's do our days of the week. Today was Monday, and Monday starts with what letter? Monday. What do you think? What about this one? Does that start with M? No. What about this one? Does that one start with Monday? It does. I'm going to put it right up here for today. If today was Monday, we're going to go backwards one day to this day right here. This is what yesterday was. It was su Sunday. Sunday has S-U. We need to look for S-U. This has a U. Does it start with an S? Nope, it doesn't. Let's keep looking. Oh, this starts with an S. It doesn't have a U there. What letter is this? What letter is the second one? That's an A. That's not a U. We need S-U. Oh, S-U, Sunday. Put it up here for us, yesterday. And if yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, we go forward one day to t Tuesday. I think Tuesday is this one. So we're gonna put it right up here for tomorrow. Now let's check the weather. Mr. Charlie was just outside. It's pretty sunny out. So we're gonna put the sun up. And the leaves on the trees outside are moving a little bit. What does that mean? It means it's raining. We gotta put the rain. What? It's not raining? There's a rainbow outside. No. Well, what does it mean if the, if the leaves are moving? Bridget, what does it mean if the leaves are moving? It means it's windy. All right, well, I got my wind right here, so we're gonna put it up there. No clouds in the sky, I can't put cloudy. We just said it's not raining or snowing or foggy or rainbowy. So I think we're just gonna leave sunny and windy up for our calendar today. And that's it for today's video. Make sure that we're making those things for mommy so that we have lots of fun things to give her. 
uh, your bags are ready, you can come get them at the preschool right now. So maybe daddy can come pick them up with you so mommy doesn't see what's in them. And I will see you guys at our Zoom call on Friday at 10 a.m. so that we can celebrate Mother's Day. Bye, friends.